And we're back. So, today we're going to discuss the Magic Wand tool in Adobe Illustrator. And essentially the Magic Wand tool works very similar to the tool in Photoshop. All you have to do is you select a specific color and it will automatically select all similar colors within your piece. Okay, so we're going to give you an example of that right now. Take your shape tool and you know create a few shapes on your artboard. Um, I think the best way to do it is to you know create one shape that's one color and then copy that shape and just move a bunch of them around to different areas of the artboard. Now we're going to change the color properties of a few of these to be the same. Just select maybe, you know, three colors that aren't near each other and change them to other colors. And let's change this to a dark blue. All right. So we're going to walk over, not actually walk, but move our mouse over to our magic wand tool which is the letter Y on your keyboard this is in the second row first column of your tools panel or it'll be the third icon if you have it in the single panel okay so we're gonna click that and what we're gonna do is we're going to click any color and once you click that color you'll notice it automatically highlights the other colors that are listed there now the reason it does this is because it it's judging by the property that you're actually selecting okay now you have the option of also highlighting whether you want it to select based on stroke weight and stroke color and what the tolerance is and if you remember some of our previous information tolerance is simply referring to how much the actual tool is going to recognize before it selects something or it doesn't select something as a part of its selection. So in here we have a certain tolerance level for this specific color. We have a certain tolerance level for a stroke color that we were to select as well as a weight if we were to select the weight. But by default these are going to be off. You can also change it so that it selects tolerance for a certain opacity and for a specific blending mode. So the magic wand will select based on those attributes of your object. And it's really beneficial if you're looking to capture a bunch of objects that maybe have a two point stroke width or or weight and or a blending mode that's color burn or something of that nature. And it allows you to just click the one and it selects all of them that are similar and you'll notice if you look in your transparency menu or panel you'll see there's a little window that shows you everything on your board that's selected or the items that would be adjusted and if you look once you select them you'll notice that each one comes up so that's how you essentially use the magic wand tool so fool around with this play with some of the options and get familiar with it and be sure to check out some of the other tutorials and I will see you guys later